Hello again and welcome to Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. Great to have you along for another season of Cowboy Football. It's our season opener and the Cowboys have their season opener coming up this Saturday night when they take on New Mexico State down in Las Cruces. The Cowboys will head to the crosses in New Mexico to take on New Mexico State. What a what a great opener and the Cowboys taking that outstanding defense. Eight starters back on defense from that defense a year ago. But the offense is the side of the ball where maybe there's more question marks. Uh, a lot of those question marks have been answered and things have been answered through the fall, though, Kevin. Well, I, I think the, the coaching staff believes they have been answered, Dave. And that this is a, a new quarterback. Uh, there's going to be a new running back virtually, uh, some new offensive linemen. So a lot of parts that haven't done a lot yet. But I think everybody has confidence in them, and uh, especially that new quarterback. Yeah, young Tyler Vanderwall will be the Cowboys' new quarterback. He's a redshirt freshman. He'll be playing his first Division I college football game this Saturday. And head coach Craig Bowl had this to say about the newest Cowboy quarterback. He's got a very accurate arm. Uh, he's got good arm strength. Uh, he's got good mobility, and he's been able to, um, you know, a lot of times as you uh, football is not seven on seven pass where they're not rushing and he's done a really good job of extending plays of of uh, keeping his eyes downfield uh, throwing down check downs taking uh, his eyes uh, not at the primary receivers covered going to the secondary receiver he doesn't put the ball in harm's way a whole lot uh, he's a smart bright guy and the fact that he's been around here for a year certainly helps you know that does not mean that we're not going to continue to look at the position nick's had a good fall camp uh, but we feel good about Tyler and where he's at. Well, it's going to be exciting to see just how that young quarterback performs in his first game as a Wyoming Cowboy. He's uh, got size, Kevin, 6'4", 220. Appears to have all the tools and all the ability necessary to play that position. He does, and he's got big shoes to fill. We all know that, but this guy can throw the football. He's very mobile. He can extend plays, as we heard. Uh, I think he's going to be just fine, uh, and, and uh, the Cowboys are going to be in good shape with him. Well, when Tyler Vanderwall turns around and hands the ball off, he's going to have a very effective Cowboy to give it to as Nico Evans gets the start at uh, running back for the Cowboys. and. Nico brings a lot to the table, doesn't he, Kevin? He really does, and he's a guy with a great story. Uh, he, he, in fact, said nobody was more embarrassed about how Cowboys ran the football last year than the running backs. And, and so he worked exceptionally hard through the winter, through spring ball, all summer long. He's ready to be the starter. That was his goal, and uh, he is. He's a team captain. The, the, the team appreciates him and respects him, and uh, I think he's going to have a heck of a year. Well, let's hear a little bit more from Cowboy running back Nico Evans. We're a hard-nosed football team. On the offensive side of the ball, that's what we believe. You know, we, I think we lost that identity a little bit last year. And so going through the spring and the fall, it's all been all about regaining that identity, regaining who we are. And so we're going to run the rock. That's what we're going to do. You know, all of Coach Bull's teams before this have been able to run the ball. Run the ball. And so after we do that, it's going to open up the pass game. We just want to go out there and dominate teams. You know, we're not going to fear anyone when we go out there. We're going to see the man in front of us. We're like, hey, we're going to hit you. Play in, play out, every single play. We're going to hit you. And when you get tired, we're going to hit you some more. Well, I think the accent is on being physical with this Cowboy offense, according to Nico Evans. And, of course, a lot of that has to do with what goes on up front, Kevin. And this is going to be a, a young Cowboy offensive line to start this first game. Three redshirt freshmen out of the five, and then two seniors in there. So an interesting mix there to go into the season with this offensive front. You know, it is an interesting mix. And uh, Craig Bowl teams run the football. And this uh, Cowboy team did not do that last year. He wants them to be physical. He wants to run the football. you got to do that with the guys up front. And the Cowboys have had some injuries, so they don't have the continuity that you'd like to have going into the year. As you say, three red shirt freshmen, uh, nobody really wants to go that way. But there's a couple seniors in there who play a lot of football. And, uh, you know, we just have to see how they go. But uh, if nothing else, they will hit people, as Nico says, and they want to run that football. Well, the Cowboy head coach had this to say about the Cowboy people movers, those offensive linemen. You're going to see Rudy Stouffer make his first collegiate start at the tackle position. And so uh, many times, young guy going out there, um, we do think the other guys, while they're new, there's a reason why they are starting. Uh, we've had good competition. We have quite a bit of experience on that offensive line. And what's happened is some emerging guys 
have stepped to the forefront, Keegan Kreider and um, you know some other guys. So we feel good about where we're at. Well, what goes on and what happens has a lot to do with how those guys play up front, Kevin, and we'll be uh, looking very intently at that Cowboy offensive line in this first game. We really will. They are really the important part of that offense. Uh, everybody talks about Vanderwall, but how those guys up yeah. front block, that's where it starts, and that's where you have to dominate. Yeah, stay with us. We're going to come back and talk about the Cowboy defense and a whole lot more here on Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan, right after this timeout. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Rogue. With available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue. Or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry. The bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan. Proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. When did we stop thinking up new questions and daring to chase down their answers? The world needs more wonder, more outside thinkers hungry for a challenge. The world needs more cowboys. And it's not what you are that makes you a cowboy or cowgirl, but who you are. It's a shared spirit, the kind that emboldens those who possess it to stand on the perimeter and howl into the unknown with unbendable optimism. The world needs more cowboys. Well, the Wyoming Cowboys will bring one of the most decorated defenses. My goodness, they uh, led the nation in takeaways last year. Eight takeaways the last time they played a football game in that bowl game on the blue turf in Boise, Idaho. My goodness, what a year the Cowboy defense had last year, Kevin. The good news is Cowboys returned eight starters off that defense from a year ago. Oh, yeah, and, and last year was maybe one of the greatest years ever of Wyoming mm -hmm. defense, which has tradition of defense. But all those guys are back, and they are motivated. I, I know that they're kind of tired of hearing about how good they are. They have expectations, and, and their expectations are to be even better than they were last year. We will soon find out, but they certainly have the potential to do that. Well, what a great defense. Cowboys led in that secondary by two outstanding safeties. Of course, Andrew Wingard has been named on the Associated Press second team All-America preseason team. And the other safety, well, he's had a great Cowboy career. For the third time, he has been named a Cowboy captain. Marcus Epps will be back deep in that secondary for the Cowboys. And Epps talked a little bit about how the Cowboys will approach defense this year. I think we're pretty motivated, you know. We had a, we had a, obviously we had a pretty good year last year. But, you know, I feel like we've done a pretty good job of, you know, trying to tone out everybody to saying how good we are and just continuing to work. You know, we never want to get complacent. So I feel like we're pretty motivated to, you know, piggyback off of what we did last year and have an even better year this year. Oh, that Cowboy defense itching to get at it against New Mexico State on Saturday night. And when the Cowboy defense is on the field, they're going to have a pretty good outfit that they're looking across the the football at Kevin. This offense of New Mexico State has some people. Well, it does. and They can run the football. They can throw the football. I think they want to throw it first, but they have a new quarterback like the Cowboys do, and so uh, we'll have to see how they go about it if they start him out a little shorter way. or But they like to gain yards by the pass, and they did that really well last year. They really do. Head coach Craig Bull talked a little bit about how the defense of the Cowboys will approach this offense of New Mexico State. And we cannot forget the fact we've got to be able to stop the run. I think if we can make them one-dimensional, uh, that's going to open up our toolbox a little bit. I think we've got some, you know, some some really experienced players that can can rush the passer, uh, and but we need to get them in that situation. So plenty of challenges for the Cowboy defense when they face that New Mexico State offense. Well, what about 
when the Aggies are on defense and the Cowboys have the football. Well, what about there, Kevin? That's a pretty salty bunch over there on the other side of the football, defensively for the Aggies as well. They really have been, and uh, a little bit similar to their in-state rival, New Mexico, in terms of the way they do a lot of junk things, and uh, especially on uh, third and long, second and long. They like to get you in those long situations, and then they come at you every which way, and they're probably going to do that even more, knowing that that's a redshirt freshman, a quarterback. Yeah, Coach Bull we'll talk a little bit about the New Mexico State defense. What they do, first of all, I think they do a really good job on first and second down. You know, I, I, I know their defensive line coach from many, many years ago. Uh, they really established a run well, uh, and they create third down and long. And when they create third down and long, you know, it's a Star Wars. It's every angle from every different player, and uh, th those things pose problems. And so, um, you know, what, what, what that does give us is an opportunity to take advantage of that. I always say blitzing is great. Somebody's band's going to be playing. It better be ours. I mean, what you're doing, you're forcing the situation, and we need to be able to react uh, to that well. Uh, certainly uh, uh, our offensive staff, is, is I, they, they're, they're very concerned uh, about their efficiency and what we're going to do to make sure that we can uh, uh, be very effective on third down. So plenty of challenges for the Wyoming Cowboys going into the season opener at New Mexico State. They'll play in Las Cruces Saturday night, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, the kickoff, Kevin. And uh, that'll be some opener. Uh, Cowboys in New Mexico State have played just once. It was all the way back in 1953. That's the historical part of it. But that was then. This is now. And what about this game now? Big one. Well, it is a big one, and it's always difficult to open the season on the road. You'd love to be at home, uh, especially when you have a redshirt freshman quarterback. But I think this team is ready. Uh, they proved last year they can play on the road. Uh, that's that's a mental state of mind, and that's the bowl way. So. Uh, Cut down the current turnovers, run the football, and uh, let that defense get after it. Go get a big win in the season opener on the road. Wouldn't that be nice? It all happens 8 p.m. The kickoff from Las Cruces, New Mexico, this Saturday night. The Cowboys and the New Mexico State Aggies. Well, come back next time and join us here on Cowboy Football Weekly. We'll take a look and talk about the next game for Wyoming. That'll be Washington State. See you next time. So long, everybody.